Welcome back, folks, to Feed My Pet Friday. This week we'll be watching my legless lizard, Legolas, eat some canned cat and dog food. These are native to Europe. They're, they have a wide range in Europe in the wild, and they're called the legless lizard for obvious reasons, but they're also known as the glass lizard because it was once believed that they would shatter like glass if you held them, which they can drop their tails as a defense mechanism, but they won't shatter like glass like people once believed. Legolas here is known for taking bites bigger than she can handle. I think her eyes are bigger than her stomach, or her mouth in this case, but she just kind of tears it apart and eventually gets it down. You may hear me refer to Legolas as a male and a female, and I think it's a girl, but I'm not positive. There's no visual way to tell the sex of a legless lizard. Uh, you'd have to do a DNA sample or a blood sample to know for sure. We got Legolas from a somewhat local reptile store called Reptile Rapture in Madison, Wisconsin. She, along with all other legless lizards, was wild caught originally, so she had quite a long quarantine period with us before being put in the snake room with everybody else. But I use her and I got her for specific use in educational programs around the Midwest. So she teaches people what the differences are between snakes and lizards, and even though she has no legs, that does not mean that she is a snake like everyone believes. If you look close, you can see the ear holes near the back of her head. This is one of the differences between snakes and lizards. Snakes don't have external ears, but most lizards do. She is a great eater for us. She eats cat and dog food. There's a lot of licking her lips involved in between bites. She is a, uh, a dainty lady. She has to look nice and keep clean, of course. She also loves to eat scrambled eggs, and in the wild they eat a lot of snails, but we choose not to feed her snails from the wild because of the risk of parasites. She's chowing down on some canned dog food here, and when you're feeding legless lizards, you basically just want to make sure that the canned cat or dog food is of good quality. It basically has good whole ingredients rather than byproducts. We also supplement their diets with either a multivitamin powder or a calcium powder sprinkled on top of their food to make sure they get all the nutrients they need. The style in which legless lizards eat is called kinetic eating. This is an eating technique found in all lizard species, as far as I'm aware, because lizards cannot move their jaw back and forth, only up and down to chew. So the kinetic eating is when they fling their head backwards and use their tongue to move the food down their throat. I also have a second legless lizard in this enclosure, and this is one of the few species that you can successfully house together. They do great in groups. But he is... well, he's not as friendly as Legolas is. Um, I tried filming it once and it did not end well. And I have teeth marks on my camera as a result. So we're just gonna watch Legolas today. And here we go with another bite that's probably too big for her, but knowing her, oh, or she'll just break it up. She does that too and takes teeny little bites and puts just as much effort into eating those as she does the big bites sometimes. But it is kind of entertaining to watch an animal with no legs eat their food. When she's finished eating, she is a lizard of class, so she spends some time wiping her mouth and her lips off on the bedding and on the dish and on her log, just anything she can to clean up her face. After she's done cleaning her face, she just digs under the bedding and burrows around and chills down there for the rest of the day. So there's my legless lizards for you, at least one of them eating. This was actually the first time I got them on film, which was kind of neat. Don't forget to vote for next week's Feed My Pet Friday by clicking on the I in the top right corner. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you then.